Alrighty, now let's head over to our next matchup up, and we are going to the Bucks and the Panthers. Now, um, NFL.com, Game Pass, um, uh, the All-22 film has been absolutely trashed this week. There's only like three games so far where All-22 is on, and like one of those games is Jets-Jags. Of course, we're not going to watch this game. Uh, so we're a little beholden to the overall replays. So we can't just watch Cam Newton and Sam Darnold on their plays alone, unfortunately. But what I want to do right here, once again, you all know how we feel about betting this Panthers team and all that. You stay away from it. You got to stop. You got to stop. You got to stop betting the Panthers. But, um, you know, maybe another thing that we can use, a tool that we can use to show y'all to stop betting the Panthers, we are going to watch the highlights right here. The Bucks versus Panthers highlights. It's a six-minute clip, and I just want to see what offensive plays for the Panthers are are they showing y'all that y'all, because y'all must only be, y'all are obviously watching these Panthers play. I mean, you can't actively watch this Panthers team play and then the next week be like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet on them. There's no way you're doing that. So the only other solution that I can think of is that y'all are watching these highlight tapes and um, just seeing some like two good plays by Cam Newton and then betting them the next week. That's the only thing that makes sense. So let me see what y'all are seeing. We'll watch the highlights right here. We're only going to focus on the Panthers offensive highlights because I want to see what is Cam Newton showing y'all uh, that is giving y'all the audacity to bet them on a weekly basis. So let's see what uh, Cam Newton's best plays that make a highlight package are. And let's see how many of them are. I'm going to call it right now. I think we get maybe two plays. I think we get two offensive plays here by the Panthers. Maybe one by Sam Darnold. Maybe one by Cam Newton. So let's see what they show as highlights here offensively for this Panthers team. Here we go. We'll skip all the other plays. Offensive for the Bucks. Defensive for the Bucks. Well, I guess defense would be offense for the Panthers. And then defense for the Panthers. We don't care about those plays. But here we go. First play up. We get a Cam Newton highlight right off the rip. Or maybe it's a Bucks defensive highlight. We gotta watch it. So here we go. It's the, the first highlight up is a Cam Newton run, which is basically the only thing he does in that. Holy moly. That was great. This was great. Right here. Cam Newton from his, uh, from the Bucks 45-yard line. Little hesitation. This is a designed run. is blocked to perfection. And Cam Newton brings it all the way down to the 10-yard line. That was a Great run by Cam Newton right there. Holy moly. Great design overall by the Panthers as well. That was their one highlight, and I don't think it's going to get any better than that, honestly. That was great. But that's all we know Cam Newton does, folks. I mean, and then the next highlight, y'all want to know what the next highlight is? It's their field goal attempt after that great Cam Newton run because Cam Newton in the red zone is trash. Even him running in the red zone is not as good as it was, you know, his first two games when nobody really kind of, oh, we forgot about Cam Newton. And then they're like, oh, yeah, we know he's trash so they can now shut him down in the red zone. All right, so that's the one highlight. So far, we've got one highlight by Cam Newton. Let's, um... And it was good. Uh, let's kind of keep track here. We'll have uh, Cam highlights, and we'll see if Sam Darnold gets into the mix because uh, we know they both played. So Cam Newton, one highlight, and it was good. On a, we'll give it a scale. One to ten. I'm going to give that a solid eight. Um, he kind of, you know, actively went out of bounds, didn't try to stay in bounds, didn't try to, you know, throw a shoulder or anything like that. So I'll, I'll give it an eight. That's a solid eight right there. Um, y'all just like if y'all just watch that one play, I could see y'all betting, you know, Panthers plus ten. I could see that. But folks, you can't just do one play in the first quarter. Seven minutes left. Come on. All right, next highlight up here. We get a Bucks play. We can skip it. Uh, that goes for the score. We back to here. We go back to Panthers offense. Couple of plays later. Here we go. Let's see what they show here. Maybe, and it may not even be a good positive play for the Panthers. Anytime we see the Panthers' offense on the field, it could be a great defensive uh, play by the Bucks. So here we go. Third and four. Cam Newton throws it up, and that's a pick. So see what we're saying? I mean, just lofts this up on third and four. Who are you even going to here, Cam? And at this point, immediately, first play, okay, I can maybe understand. It was a great run, all that. I can maybe understand why y'all bet the Panthers. But then after seeing this play right there, 
there. That first good play goes out the window, and I'm back to never betting the Panthers ever again. I'm talking about 20 years down the line where Cam Newton is actively retired, and there's zero chance of him returning to the league. I still don't bet the Panthers. This is what Cam Newton has done to this organization. This is what Matt Rule has done to this organization. This is what Sam Darnold has kind of done to this organization. I won't bet this team for 20 years straight. So Cam Newton just lofts this one up absolutely bad right there, and that's an easy pick on third and four. Once again, first quarter, they're only down 7-3, manageable game, but he's actively turning over the ball. Not good. All right, so Cam Newton interception was the second highlight that he was in. <laughs> Not good. All right, then we get a Tom Brady highlight or a defensive highlight. It doesn't matter to us. We get a field goal, and now here we go. Oh, Sam Darnold is up. Oh, a Sam Darnold highlight. Is this a good highlight for Sam or a bad highlight for Sam? Here we go. Down 10-3, second and eight. Sam Darnold, nowhere to go with the ball, and he slings it down the field, and it's wide open. So Sam Darnold, and this goes all the way down to the 10-yard line. So I'll give Sam Darnold. That was a good play right there. That was a good highlight. One good highlight so far. And I'll say that's a that's about an 8 as well. Uh, escaping the pocket. He threw the ball wide. It was wide open, folks. I'm talking about nobody within 20 yards of this man. Uh, so we're not going to give Sam Darnold all the praise right there. But keeping his eyes down the field, escaping the pressure, solid right there. We'll give him an 8 on that throw on that highlight. So each quarterback so far has one highlight that we do rank about an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10. Can can Sam Darnold outperform? Here we go. Sam Darnold in the red zone. Third and goal. Can he get it done? Sam Darnold stepping up in the pocket and he goes down. So once again, stalling in the red zone. They have one big play. They both score three points out of it and that's the only points that they scored all game long. One good Cam Newton run. One good wide open Sam Darnold throw. That leads to the only points of the game, folks. Okay, do you all see what we're saying now? Y'all are just cutting off the highlights you know two minutes into it watch the full five six minutes folks you will not want to bet the Panthers um here we go all right so Sam Darnold doesn't get it done they have to settle for a field goal on fourth and goal and then we the next the kicker has more uh, let's let's get that up here we go we got a the kicker kicker has two highlights kicker for this Panthers team has two highlights two field goals Sam Darnold has one one positive highlight, and Cam Newton has one positive highlight. Okay, folks, are y'all getting it now? Are y'all getting it now? All right, here we go. Um, it's so funny. They go from Bucks field goal highlight, which kind of you know shows us, hey, the Panthers get the ball next, and then they go right back to the Bucks highlights offensively because the Panthers are absolutely trash. So here we go. Got to keep scrolling here. Till we get back, we get a Cameron Bray touchdown. We get Tom Brady in the red zone. We get Tom Brady slinging to Gronk. We get Tom Brady in the red zone. We get the Bucks field goal kicker. Oh, hang on. We get Cam back. Cam highlight back. Positive Cam highlight or negative Cam highlight. Let's decipher. Here we go. Cam Newton on third and 10. Dropping back the pass and does not even try to not get sacked right here. So another negative highlight for Cam Newton. So the kicker still has more positive highlights highlights for the Panthers than Cam Newton does. Then we're back to Tom Brady highlight. Then we're back to Ronald Jones touchdown highlight. And then we're back to, hang on, the Panthers I think are on the field offensively here. Here we go. Sam Darnold's chance at a second good highlight. Let's see if he can get it done. Second and eight from the Bucks 20-yard line. They're in the red zone, folks. Or very close to approaching the red zone on the doorstep of the red zone. What can Sam Darnold do here on second and eight? He steps up in the pocket and goes down and holds onto the ball. So that's good, but still gets sacked. Oh, my goodness. Sam Darnold, get rid of the ball, please. On fourth and 11, Sam Darnold, another chance at a highlight right here. Fourth and 11. <laughs> fourth and 11. Good luck on that. From the Bucks 24-yard line, can Sam Darnold get it done? He gets hit as he's throwing, and it falls incomplete. Nowhere near anybody. All righty, then we get, oh, Sam Darnold back up. Oh, Sam Darnold, another chance for a good highlight on fourth and 10. 10 minutes left in the game, down 29 to 6. He rolls out of the pocket, and he's so slow. Even after escaping like one defender in the pocket, he still clamored by three other defenders right here. 
Man, oh man, we just saw Josh Allen escape all the pressures by the New England defense. Sam Darnold is actively getting eaten by all the Bucks defenders right here. Another not highlight here for the Panthers offense. We've gotten four highlights of the Panthers offense. Two have been field goals. <laughs> what are y'all what are y'all doing here? All right, hang on. One more chance. I think this is the final chance right here for a positive highlight by Sam Darnold. Here we go. One <laughs> <laughs> one second left in the game. Second and goal. Sam Darnold. One second left. Put up some more points, Sam. Come on. Here we go. Sam Darnold drops back to pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. Slings it. And it's broken up by the Bronco, uh, by the Bucks defense. Great right here. Now, let's go back on this play. Let's see. Is there anything open, actually? Because this man is just standing in the pocket, not at, not doing anything. Uh, or maybe the Bucks defense is that good that they're actively covering everything. So here we go. We got four wide receivers out for routes. We get the back out of the backfield slipping out. I mean, look at this. This is all locked up right here. What what genius is calling plays here for the Panthers, folks? Didn't Matt Rule fire an offensive coordinator, and this is the guy that he felt so confident with? The three receivers to the left are all just kind of on comeback routes at the front of the end zone. That's all locked up. What creativity is that? Then you get one receiver on the right sideline who's triple covered, and that's the guy who Sam Darnold throws to. So... Absolute trash, folks. What are y'all watching? What are y'all seeing that makes y'all bet the Panthers, folks? I, I, I'm trying to see it. I am trying to actively get in your shoes to be like, how? Why am I just throw? How? How am I getting in your guys' shoes of just, hey, I just want to throw away money every single week by betting on the Panthers plus six, plus eleven, plus ten points. It's never enough, folks. If you give the Panthers plus fifty, we know that's still gonna be bad value. So stay away from it. So I don't get it, folks. One good Cam Newton play, and it was a run. We gave it a, a, an 8 value out of a scale of 10. Sam Darnold, a wide open pass. We gave that an 8 value as well. And the kicker had two highlights. That gives y'all enough confidence to bet the Panthers on a weekly basis. We see it every single week, folks. We are not going this adamant on this if we did not see it every single week. We are actively seeing... You know, the Panthers, you know, on the, you know, the spread line, like minus 125. The opponent, the opposing team on the spread line, plus, plus odds, plus 110, plus 105. That tells us that y'all are actively betting the Panthers, folks. We can read the spread. We can see y'all. We can see what y'all are doing. We just don't get it. So, once again, we're not betting the Panthers. They are still in this category of their own or of absolute dumpster. No buyability at all, folks. Come on. Come on. Please stop betting the Panthers. Please, for the love of goodness. Jeez. Man, oh, man. All righty. So, Bucks. Panthers, stop betting the Panthers. Please, truly. Please, truly. Truly. Like, I'm begging y'all to play. Like, I, I know I, I shouldn't care what y'all do with your money, but please stop. Lose it any other way, folks. Lose your money any other way than betting on the Panthers. Please, please. 